Janaya, thanks a lot. Now with the campaign trail winding down, the nation's leader is again calling for peace before the general election and a unified Bahamas following the poll. As Clint Watson tells us, his appeal came at the PLP's gospel concert at Arawak Key. To God be the glory, great things he has done. It's not the traditional way for the head of a nation to begin a political address, but for Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie, in his view, it was the most fitting. Having spent the last five years investing in the Bahamian people to give them a better way of life through education, health care, food sufficiency, job creation and diversification, the Prime Minister called for greater participation from Bahamians. We can improve our schools, but we need parents to provide loving and stable homes. We can build new courts, but we need you to serve as jurors and witnesses. We can recruit hundreds of new police officers, but we need you to look out for your neighbors, look out for one another. Don't be spectators in our nation's journey, be activists in our nation's journeys. What Sir Lyndon Pinling and others marched for was justice, and justice must be earned in every generation. Let me say it again, it was earned in their generation, and it must be earned in our generation. Stretch your minds, renew your focus, revive your spirits, do not settle for good. Good, do be more than good. Let's do for better. Let's do for best. The Prime Minister also spent most of Sunday visiting residents in his constituency, and he noted the need for greater social intervention, like national health insurance. Recounting two visits with mothers who had children with serious medical conditions, one cerebral palsy and the other brain condition, he made this commitment that this Prime Minister, led by this heart, will never ever forsake them, will never ever forget them, and will use the instrumentality of the power that I have to forge policies that will be in the interest of those people who are so much in need of government intervention. Recognizing the power of spiritual intervention of God, the Prime Minister says he was encouraged to make this request of religious leaders. Petition God to offer prayers in our country for people to have calm heads and to be wise and to understand that our democracy enables us to differ strongly, but at the end of the process, we are all God's children in this one major wonderful country. And that if our country is going to work, we're going to have to make it work together. Cliff Watson, ZNS Network News.